so now we're going to set up user account codes on your Sharp MFP. This is going to lock the home screen to force anyone who wants to use it to come up and enter a five-digit code to access the features. So to set that up, start with settings on your bottom. Move it from the system settings tab to the user control tab. Um, I'm going to log in as an administrator. And this password for this version is lowercase admin, A-D-M-I-N, but that could be different depending on your model or your IT may have changed the password, so just check to make sure you have that correct. Hit login. It, it defaults to main code list. You want to just scroll that menu up and find default settings. So right now, user authentication is disabled. We simply want to hit that drop down arrow, move it to enable, scroll down a little bit, and we want to move it to authenticate a user by user number only. This is the easiest way to go about it. Scroll back up, hit submit. So what it's going to do, it says the changes reflected in the operation is reset. Hit OK, and now it's going to kick you back out, and this is what the new home screen is going to look like. Now to add users so people can actually enter their codes and get in, we need to re-log in as admin to add the users. So we'll go to admin login, same password as before, A-D-M-I-N. Go back into settings, same process, move it from system to user control. Now we are looking for user list, which it is already defaulted to once you hit user control. So you want to scroll down, and our machine currently has some users already on it. So you will, anyone you do have in there, you will see right here. But if you don't have any, don't worry. Just come down and hit add. This is the screen to add your user information. And it may look a little overwhelming, but you only need to enter two fields the username and the user number. So the username can be first and last, first initial, whatever you'd like to have it displayed as on the screen. So I'm going to enter my information, hit OK, and we're going to make up a user number here, anywhere between five and eight digits. So, and then hit submit. If you want to enter multiple users, Hit Submit and Register Next, and you'll be brought to a blank screen where you can continually type in the username and the user number. But for this purpose, we'll just hit Submit. Now if you um, get out of here, you can hit Cancel. Log out, Administrator. Now to test if your code works, try it out. Hit OK. And you should see your name on the top of the screen here. And that is how you set up user accounts on the Sharp MFP.